Well, today, something fun on Eye in the Desert. Brian Wilson from the Marlin Bar in downtown Palm Springs, the Tommy Bahamas Marlin Bar. He's going to teach me to make a couple of great summer season cocktails. We're going to do one today, and we'll do one another day. But, Brian, thanks for being with us. Hey, Patrick. Thanks for having us on today, man. And thanks for sending all of the setups so that I can make these great cocktails. We're going to start with something that involves a little rum. Walk us through it, and, and I'll make it with you. Perfect. Um, so we're all ready for a change, right? We've uh, been cooped up for a while. We want to have some fun, whether it's here in the sun at the Marlin Bar in Palm Springs, or we actually created this book here that you can take home with you and have some fun and make some of the cocktails that you love right in your own house. Um, so we're going to walk you through making our painkiller. It's one of our classic cocktails that everybody comes here and they love and they can't wait to have again and again. So we're going we're gonna to teach you how to make it at home so you can have that same experience, that same feeling, that same taste right in your own home there. So. Excellent. Perfect. First thing we're going to start right here is our uh, Pusher's Rum. Uh, a little dark rum here. We're going to grab our shaker. Hope we've got some ice in there already. Patrick, you got a beautiful setup, man. You're looking natural over there, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're take ice, so we're just going to put that. You pre We pre-measured everything. Pour that right in. Next thing we're going to grab is a little bit of pineapple juice. We're going to throw that pineapple juice. That's going to give it the sweetness that we're going to need in that drink. Smell it. Smell it. It's nice and fragrant. We're going to throw that in right with our rum. We've also got some Coco Lopez. A little bit more sweet. We've got the alcohol. You're going to taste that. We want to, we want to mix it in with a little bit of our Coco Lopez. Right there. You can see it's nice and thick. It's going to give it some body to that, to that cocktail. All right. If I'm going too fast, let me know, Patrick. I'll slow down. I'm good. <laughs> I'm making them fast as people get thirsty. Um, next thing is going to be our orange juice. Orange juice is going to go right in there as well. All right. And at this point, we've got all the ingredients we need to go ahead and put our cap on our shaker. I'm going to put it on there nice and tight. Put our finger on the end and shake, 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 shake. With a smile. <laughs> You're having a great time. Your friends are around. Good about ten shakes. Make it nice and cold because it's a hot day. We'll pop the top off that shaker. We're going to grab our glass that we want to pour it into. Yep. And we're just going to give it a pour right in there. Perfect. If you've got ice still in your shaker and you want to add some of that, you can take the top off your shaker and just add it to that glass there, depending on what kind of shaker you're making, you're shaking with. And then once we feel like we got our cocktail looking consistent, looking good, nice and cold, smells great. Yep. Uh, we're going to top it off with our ground nutmeg that's going to give it a little finishing touch make it pop make it show like yeah i know what i'm doing here I'm not my first rodeo there we go right on top there oh yeah there we oh, go yeah. this if is you're pain killer. To, that's a painkiller so any pain you got it's going to kill it right away uh your friends are going to love it everybody's going to be impressed that you were able to put this together at, at your house um it's, it's a classic well, Brian, we're going to enjoy this, and I'm going to bring you back for another installment. We're going to make something else with a little more key lime flavor to it. Thank you very much for being on Eye on the Desert, and cheers. Cheers to you, Patrick. Thank you.